Hey guys, in this video, I'm just going to be unboxing all of this stuff, and this is the DeMello Off-Road Stealth Series bumper and the accessories I'm putting with it. So I have a 30-inch light bar, Rough Country Off-Road, and the 10k pound mini built winch. So just going to unbox it today, and then we're going to get further into the install in the later video. Let's get to unboxing. Trying to get through all this with my screwdriver. Literally just bought a Leatherman for my quote unquote everyday carry, but not really helpful if I keep forgetting to carry it every day. So, stuck with a screwdriver for now. I'm gonna try not to scratch this nice powder coat, so I'll check back in when I'm further along. Okay guys, and here she is. Now, I went with the DeMello bumper because, first of all, in my, in my opinion, it's the best looking one that is offered. I know some of you may have different preferences and stuff. It is pricey, you know, I was able to get a, a deal on it, like, you know, they had a Black Friday sale and everything. I ended up getting a single hoop because they had one in stock that was already in powder coat. So I went with that. Here's a little look around it. Here you have your your headlight fillers. Like these kind of fill a gap between the uh, bumper and the headlight. Uh, fog light holes. And a lot of times people in YouTube videos don't show how the lights mount up and stuff. So let me just give you a quick look here. Fog lights just bolt straight down there. And your 30 inch light bar uh, has tabs that come out like this. I don't know if you can see that. So you mount it like that. And another reason I got the DeMello bumper is all the reinforcement here. This is not just a uh, steel skin. This actually has serious reinforcement down all through here. This thing is really, really strong. It's not insanely heavy. I could carry it myself. It's probably definitely over 100 pounds, but overall, you know, not terrible. And uh, yeah, just the angles on it, everything, everything just looks right to me. Some of the other ones don't quite cut it for what I was looking for. So yeah, here's where your winch mounts to. You got these uh, four holes, and then your fair lead goes there. Uh, they even got looks like a license plate uh, holder and some cooling vents right here. Keep your engine nice and cool. I uh, love these recovery points. These are backed up again by lots and lots of steel. So that's gonna be a really safe recovery point for you. And yeah, you have winch access right through the side. These are the, the brackets that hold it up to the frame. And these basically sandwich, from what I've seen, they sandwich the bumper onto the frame. So the bumper doesn't mount directly on to the factory studs like some of the other ones. Uh, this one, you know, kind of allows for some, I think, adjustment. And yeah, I don't really know yet. Uh, <laughs> I have not installed it, so we're going to struggle through that so you don't have to. Uh, here's the hardware. I think it said it's grade 8 hardware. So I'm assuming that's a good thing. And uh, everything will bolt down nice and securely. But yeah, there is the DeMello off-road bumper stealth series with a single hoop. I cannot wait to get this thing on the GX. Get back here. It's gonna look so good. Let's go with the winch now. Alright, so this is the winch setup by Smitty Belt. Now I went with this one because it just seemed like the best bang for buck. Uh, especially because I really wanted to get synthetic rope because that bumper 
steel's not light, so I definitely was keeping on a weight after I went with a steel bumper. So, and you know, the safety of synthetic and everything, you know, maybe a hundred bucks more will get you, uh, get you synthetic over steel. It was just the right move for me. Yeah, and here's a 10,000 uh, pound winch right here. Uh, here's the, I think the control, control box. Now this does have a wireless remote, which is right here, okay? But you can always plug in, and there's the other end. It almost looks like an XLR cable, if any of you are into music. Um, <laughs> and that goes into the control box here, which then uh, tells the winch what to do. Uh, here's all the hardware. I think these are relocation brackets to slide the control box along the length of the winch. So, yep, grounding cable. And that's really it. Uh, this thing's pretty tough. May end up replacing this with, you know, like a Factor 55 deal or something like that. But for now, I'm just going to run it like it is. Uh, no need to spend any more money than I already have on this thing. Yeah, so here's your free spool. You're engaged. Yeah, that's all I can really see on that. I already unboxed the light bar, so I'm gonna show you that next. Okay, so this is basically your whole your whole light bar setup. You have this nice cover that you can put on the front of your, your truck while you're not using it. This wasn't a super pricey light bar, so I'll probably just run it without it. But yeah, let me pop this guy off for you guys. All right, just like that. And you see that I actually went with the kind of blacked out version instead of going with the chrome. So I think that'll look really cool in the bumper. You can kind of see, yeah, that's gonna look pretty mean. What comes with it is like a full wiring harness, loom thing, everything you're gonna need. It's fused, it has a switch. One thing I didn't see that was in the instructions was a, a relay and so I called Rough Country and they let me know that the, the relay is actually integrated into the light so I didn't need to worry about that so yeah just in case you guys run into that issue or you have that question uh, they answered it like that not really updated instructions for this light hopefully the winch instructions are comprehensive it looks like it's just color coded should be pretty easy and I have actually no instructions for the Tamello bumper. So that is going to be pretty interesting to figure out. They did send me some Forerunner instructions and they do have a video on YouTube installing this onto a Toyota FJ. So I may be able to put two and two together with that, but, but we'll see. It's uh, definitely gonna be an interesting process putting something together without any you know directions. Same thing as the Eibach Pro Truck lift. So I didn't have any instructions on that, but I went for it anyway. So I'm gonna do the same here. It can't be that hard. Famous last words, but I think we'll be okay. All right guys, well that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you kind of a reveal of what I've been gearing up for, especially with raising the Eibach Pro Truck uh, lift fronts. Uh, this was the main reason for that, although I did want to raise it. Uh, this is why I went to the third setting instead of the second setting, which would have gotten me perfectly level. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the morning, I'll begin working on getting this thing installed in the off-road GX, and you'll see that in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching.